Hi, this is Wilderness Surviving to Thriving. Today I'm going to make a device that will make your fire burn a little hotter. It's kind of like a bellow, I guess, um, without the bag and all that. This is something you can do in the uh, backcountry. All you need is just a saw. Uh, you don't even really need a saw if you have a knife, some rope, and a stick. That's really all you need. So let me get started and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a look at the uh, how the stick looks. Um, I'm going to cut right here with the saw and I'm also going to cut right here with the saw because it has like a little curve there. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll get okay, back with next, you. I'm going to baton this wood right here. So I'm just going to put that there in the middle. Try to keep it straight. I'm trying to Trying to make sure it goes straight down the middle. There you go. Nice clean pieces there. And the next step, what I'm going to do is just take a oh, take a uh, a stick. Now this wood that I'm using, what it is, it's uh, sumac. It's very soft on the inside, so you can carve it right out with a stick, or you can do it with a knife or a tent stake. I've done one before with tent stakes. So I'm just going to take out this middle here. In the past I have done with the other pieces of wood and what I did is I made it uh, a little bit, um, I carved a little bit more on the inside here. So it's like um, from here to here I did like a, a nice um, narrow uh, opening from here to here. I did a nice narrow uh, opening and then in the middle I did it a little bit wider. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do this on camera I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to you can sharpen a uh, um, uh, You know like an oak branch or something like that and you just Take out the middle it should come right out. No problem. Okay, you can also use your knife So let me just do that and I'll get back to you The stick here is fighting me a little bit see this line right here. I did that with the uh, the stick but then um, I want it a little bit deeper, so I'm just taking my knife and I'm just digging in a little deeper to make a bigger cavity in there. But um, this stick is uh, pretty dried out, so it's not coming out as easily as I thought. Um, I've When I made my spiles and stuff like that in the past, I always made it uh, with fresher um, staghorn sumac um, sticks. But anyways, let me just start digging it out a little bit more. All right, bye. Okay, this only took me a couple minutes to do. Um, I have it narrow, narrow up here, and it's wider in the middle. Um, why? I don't know. <laughs> I saw a guy when I was backpacking 20-something years ago. He made one, not out of sumac, but out of a, another, I can't remember what kind of wood it was, but he made it very wide in the middle for some reason. So, and narrow there, and then you want it narrow here also. Because you want it to, my dog's yiping. You wanted to, uh, you know, to concentrate on the fire. There's a knot here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just I'm not gonna deal with the knot. I'm just gonna put it back together, and I'm gonna saw off that knot. Um, you really don't need a curve. You can a straight stick should be fine. The curve just looks cooler. But anyways, let me go ahead and cut that off. And like I said, this only took me, I don't know, this took me less than 10 minutes to do because it's really soft wood. So do the other side also. And I'll show you what the next step is. Let me just okay. Saw saw. I did the other one. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit to make sure that nothing's blocking the airflow. Also, when you do it, you know, make sure the sides here that you don't chip away at the sides. You want to keep the seal when you close this back up. You want to keep it from air from preventing from going out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean it up a little bit, and then I'm just going to put it back together like so. And then I'm just going to take some rope and wrap it around to make sure it's. Uh, nice and tight and basically essentially what you just made is a straw for the most part so you know i was working with this uh, this blade here um it's a tonto type style blade i really don't use tonto styles that much but i kind of like it um it made um carving this really easily easy i just uh you know just kind of pried at it and lifted it like that and it worked very well so i kind of you know really uh I don't know. I got to rethink Tonto Blades, whether I like it or not. But anyways, um, let me go ahead and um, clean this up a little bit. I'm going to put this together and wrap it with cord. Okay? I'll okay, show you here it product. is. 
I just um, wrapped some rope pretty tightly on the end there. I just wrapped it all the way around. I, um, you know, concentrated in the middle there and concentrated in the end. Just made it like a little holder thing. And I realized why you do it small there and bigger in the middle is because when you blow in it, you run out of breath. Yeah, you know, you, you, you get stuck. You can't do a full blow. So that's why the guy used to do it bigger in the middle. So either I forgot about that or I just realized it right now. But anyways, um, or I blew in it and I realized that, <laughs> that uh, you know, you want a full breath doing it. So anyways, I might take it apart, hollow out the middle a little more. But let me just check it out. Let me start a fire and let's blow on it. See if we can blow some, blow some uh, hot coals. You know, this is great for the morning. You know, you wake up in the morning, you have a hot coal, you want to get started. You know, you don't have to put your face in the fire. You just sit back a little bit. You blow right into it. And, uh, you know, I saw, I think it was, I don't know, episodes of Survivor or something like that where he was blowing on the fire and he passed out and fell face first into it. So this will prevent that from happening, prevent smoke getting in your eyes, everything else. And it will really concentrate um, your your blow to, you know, where you want it to go. So this is a great thing. This took me less than 20 minutes to make. Um, so that easy, man. Uh, let me go ahead and test it on the fire. Okay, we're gonna test it out. I just lit a little fire, so let's see. Yeah, it definitely works. I don't know if you saw that, but it definitely works. I'll show you again. I think I'll do it at night. That way you can really see it. But uh, yeah, it definitely works. I'm gonna hollow out the middle. You know, you can make this look pretty or whatever but uh that's it man i'm just gonna uh end it here um give it a shot this only took me you know 20 minutes to make you know you do it with um sumac you do it with uh sumac not poison sumac but uh staghorn sumac it's not poisonous so it won't irritate your skin and the mill is really really soft so that's why you chose this one but you can really do it with any kind of wood but it's going to take you a lot longer than 20 minutes to make this it's from start to finish it's about 20 minutes with the sumac uh, other kinds of wood i mean it can take you hours so uh give it a shot let me know what you think remember try to make the the middle you know try it both ways you know just try to make a, a narrow uh one like i just did and then make the middle the the middle a little bit bigger while the ends are um, you know, narrower, try that and let me know um, how it works and let me know what you think. All right, guys, bye.